back, faced up on, on day 12, although it doesn't look like it's taped up today. Okay, so here's, uh, if you can read that, I just thought you might be interested in some of the Japanese. Um, the yellow letters in the far corners in the upper area mean Yokozuna. Below that is the katakana for Mongolia, um, which is, uh, you know, where the country both Yokozuna are from. The kanji below that is what stable they belong to. Uh, the yellow numbers in the middle are the old kanji symbols for numbers. So, for instance, Asashoru on the left is 10 and 4, and Hakuho on the right is 11 and 3. And the symbol below the plus sign there means wins, and the symbol below the box that represents 4 means losses. And then, of course, the big white letters are the kanji for their names. Of course, neither of these men are Japanese. Um, so they adopt uh, Japanese names for wrestling here. Um, a few of the wrestlers um, from foreign countries uh, eventually become Japanese citizens, uh, etc. But, um, uh, you know, a lot of the wrestlers from the same stable, the same uh, wrestling group, um, have the similar prefixes, uh, prefixes on their names. So, for instance, Koto Oshu, Koto Mitsuki, and Koto Shogiku are all from the same wrestling heya. Um, so they, um, you know, they all have koto in front of their name. Um, so you'll, you'll see that a lot in sumo. Um, and uh, like there's a guy who won the Jurio division uh, this tournament, um, which is the division below kind of the upper Makuchi division. Um, and his name is Chio Hakuho which just for me it's kind of like uh, pretty funny in a way it's like because there's Chio Taikai he's a famous Ozeki who um, just lost to Koto Oshu and then there's Hakuho which is the current Yokozuna so he like took Chio and Hakuho and put them together and he's Chio Hakuho which would be kind of like if you were a basketball player in America and you called yourself like Kareem Kobe Jordan or something I don't know you know um, but he's wrestling well, so I guess he's living up to his chosen name. Um, anyway, so here's the match between the two Yokozuna. It's uh, fighting for pride. Um, you know, they both at least, God, have double-digit wins. Both of them are a little injured this time, theoretically. Um, Asashura supposedly has a back problem, and Hakuho has something wrong with his ankle, and you'll see him wearing a white tabi sock uh, on it. So... I'll turn it around, turn the commentary back on, and we'll watch this final match of the May Basho. Here it comes. And after losing to uh, Sashori last tournament, I'm sure Hakfo would love to pick up a win here also. Koto Oshu is about to hoist the trophy. Not looking too happy, but he is. <laughs> That's Asashoru. And that's Hakuho. Two Mongolians looking fierce. Yes, this is the final match at the May Bosch. Okay, there's their last kind of stare down. Now they'll slap. Throw their last bit of salt. See who comes out the victor today. It is ailing back. Hakko is going for the Maimashi with his left hand. Good touchy eye. Good hit oh! Hakko. Whoa. And a little extra stare down there. Yes. Looked to be that Asashuri gave uh, Hakko an extra shout. Yes. So the match was already decided. Yes. I don't think see any huge love loss between the two, even though they're both from Mongolia. That was not very Yakuza-like. 
treating a fellow Yakuza like a rank and file person. Yakuza, you mean? Yes. <laughs> I thought they would have a little extra match there for a while. Uh, moment. That was not very good. So they both end up at 11 and 4. Not great records for Yokozuna. See the replay, see if he shows the shove. A long way to go before he becomes a good sportsman. Good Tachai here. Hako tries to get a hold of Malashi, but Asashori wraps up his arm. He gets his hand on uh, Hako's neck area and at the same time, he has his hand on the right hand of Hako, and he pulls him down at this point right here. Hako tries to get a hold of Mai Mahashi, but at lower, Asasho is much lower. Hako at a high area, right there. Okay. Extra push in it by Asasho Liu <laughs> in the shoulder. Oh, that'll right. be talked Hako. about tomorrow in the media. Right here. Good. Good neck area and with with his uh, hand on. Ooh, the big stare. All right, well that's it for the Maybah show. Um, congratulations to Koto Oshu once again. Um, he fought amazing this tournament, the best I've ever seen him fight since uh, 2005. Um, and uh, you know he deserves he deserves to hold up that cup. So uh, I'm going to turn it back on in a few minutes and uh, let you uh, see his speech. Um, and that's it for footage from this tournament. Join me again in two months in mid-July for the Basho from Nagoya, um, which is one I haven't been to live. I've always wanted to go, but man, it is hot in July in Nagoya. So, um, but I will try. Maybe, maybe next year. Um, I doubt I can go this year. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon.